so everybody's talking about the brick lady the lady who allegedly was hit in the face by a brick right allegedly and we got to say allegedly there's actually a brother i saw his video the other day and i had to save the video I didn't get to see his live stream, but this brother decided to do some investigative reporting, right? So let's check out what this brother had to say. Okay, TikTok is my last time talking about it. Black women do not come at me because we uncovered the truth. Let me piss myself down to a little guy. If y'all was on our live last night, y'all would have saw the investigation we did, the uh, surveillance we did, the phone calls we made, the people we talked to, only to discover this was all a hoax. Now, her injuries were real. We still don't know how she got the injuries, but according to her, it was the brick. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, after contacting the police, the internet contacted the police, the police has no report of the incident. After the venue owner, right there where it happened, checked all of his surveillance cameras. He alleges nothing like this ever happened, that she just came out of nowhere with all these accusations. The guys that were standing around in this video says they never saw the incident. They just heard her screaming and yelling and yapping, and they called the police. She was out there acting crazy and, and ridiculous, and they just said they left when the police got there. But they never saw anybody hit her with the brick. So long story short, this woman does a lot for views, likes, and GoFundMes. Go look at her GoFundMe history. Go look at her viral history. She does whatever she can to get viral. And the internet is believing that she did sustain real injuries somehow, but she used that to make money and to gain fame through uh, viral videos. And she knew it would work if she blamed black men. And look what happened. Black women lost their mind. They, all, they just start bashing black men all across the world because we're trying to hold her accountable like we did Carly Russell. I lost over 300 followers over Carly Russell only to find out we was right. I lost over 200 followers because of this woman only to find out we was right. So please stop coming at me with the craziness and know the facts. The facts is... This was a hoax for viral views and the $32,000 that she's already raised on her GoFundMe, which she's done before. Thank you, uh, gratitudes, and sorry about whatever happened. Nobody should be hit with any type of objects. Um, should not be violent in any way. Should be a peaceful uh, coming of life. And find a different way to make money, baby girl. Find a different way to make money. It's women like her and Carly Russell that make it bad for real women, real black women, to get the necessary attention they need when they really have a real situation. Because these type of women want to play games with our lives because we are invested in finding justice for these people where there's no justice actually needed. It's all a hoax. Now, let's, let's address another part of this conversation that we definitely need to address. A lot of people ain't gonna like it, but I really don't care. Let's address the fact that this is a Somalian woman and the men that were innocent bystanders that she said stood around and did nothing were Somalian men. So my question is this, what the hell do American black men have to do with Somalian men? And what the hell do American black men have to do with protecting Somalian women? I mean, last time I checked, y'all's culture was so much better than ours. Last time I checked, the men in y'all's culture were so much better than ours. 
So why isn't the internet on fire talking about how these Somalian men stood around and did nothing while a Somalian woman was attacked? Why the hell are American black men getting the blame for this bullshit? We ain't got a damn thing to do with it. I'll tell you why they blaming us. Because they don't want to acknowledge the fact that a African man ain't gonna do nothing if a woman who behaves like that has some sort of issue. They'll stand by and watch it. But since we don't wanna talk about that, we wanna try to put it on black men in America because black men in America are the only ones that have this ridiculous expectation of defending perfect strangers that they don't know. You don't wanna make the African men look bad, so let's, let's, put, it on, let's put it on the black men.